Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and with Season 2 dropping, I was going to make a video going over, you know, pretty much what was included, I guess, you know, the new maps and things like that, and uh, I kind of want to see how other people were feeling about it. I did a little poll on our channel community page to see how other people were feeling about Season 2, but I think something more important has happened, and that is the former lead multiplayer designer for Halo Infinite has left... His name was Andrew Witz, and he says, Today was my last day at 343. It's been an honor leading the multiplayer design team over these years. So, that and then another multiplayer, senior multiplayer designer, Patrick Wren, also stepped away, and now he's doing stuff for Respawn. But I think that that's a indication of what's been going on with Halo Infinite and why the communication and maybe the amount of content that we're getting in regards to multiplayer has been kind of slow is because all these people have been kind of leaving. Quindel Hoyo also left to go work on Dr. Disrespect's um, new game thing back in like December of last year. So there's been a lot of turnover and I know that that's something that people have been talking about. You know, in the community is there was a lot of contracted employees and stuff, but these people aren't really contracted, um, and he, they weren't like fired. They left on their own accord. So, I think that that's kind of telling of what it was like to put Halo Infinite out. I'm sure that they were exhausted. You know, finally getting it out to the public and whatnot. I'm, I'm sure they're still proud of it and everything like that. But sometimes you just got to move on. You know. So I think that that's kind of been what's happening if they don't have people in place to lead well he, he tweeted it at 1117 huh if they don't have people to lead the team then it's like well what kind of content are we going to be putting out what do we want to you know tell people things like that and it's hard to make promises and stuff i know but having a direct line of communication even if it's bad you know 99 percent of the time is actually a positive thing between the developer and the, and the community um just because you you have expectations set for them so Hopefully, they start to fill these positions ASAP, and with Season 2 coming up and Season 3 being, you know, this kind of big deal, I really think that Season 3 is going to be, like, a relaunch for Halo Infinite in terms of, like, Forge and stuff like that. What I would love to see is, you know, community-made maps. They said that they are currently doing private flighting for, you know, members of the community to work on Forge. So if they launch, you know, Season 3 and, like, there's, like... 10 community made maps and stuff in there and they're like dev quality look great because i think that that's been a problem in the past is that you can tell that these are forge maps i mean reach you know is just gray even up to halo 5 so i hope that the 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 amount of you know technology and stuff that they put in the forge will really be showcased uh, by the community and hopefully that kind of bolsters the maps that we have um, and even game modes and stuff like that because I do think that Halo's community is so important in terms of creating content for the game. Um, it's something that Halo's always had so hopefully you know they start to fill these positions. Let me know in the comments down below uh, how you feel about it. Also if you haven't subscribed already to the channel 96% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. I would literally have like 100k subs by now. Please subscribe. I love you. That's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed it leave a like. If you're new subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.